And it's beta, right? You can just play it after it will come out. I must protect the wild. Nature will rise against you. This dude has much less dead draws in deck, but it's still possible to draw like that. Curious if he has a follow up for this. Put this apple on your head. Yeah, looks like same deck, which means Fell River should be uncontested. No BGH in there. Hmm. Where shall I strike? I think it's better to kill for 2 There's a chance Jekyll misses 2-4 Then I can trade and the Keeper will still be alive Yeah, I think Fallery was better. It's fine. Face the mana. Where shall I strike? <laughs> he can taste the mana. That's nice. Slowly gaining back the board control. Feels good. Hmm. So it comes down if he has like Doctor Boom and other powerful minions. Like that one. Mike is muted. Oops. I must Oops.
I'll use Savage Art to deal with Shade. No reason to poke Keeper. Fell anyway. Good card, told you. how much I like aspirant against warrior. I guess I have nothing else. So always the chances they don't have fireworks. Orange tic tacs are best. Damn, he counted out, probably has fireworks. Screw me. Extra sapling. I see the value in here. Just don't damage. Why not that PD Kodo? Ever tried that card? Yeah, I did. I think Valiwa has better stats. Some PD Kodo is fine. Just mm, not for aggro deck for sure. It's uh, almost good in control. Uh, that's it. Mm -hmm. yes. I'm going to silence it, was it better? Silence, trade, probably not. Could just charge, but he has a 35. I need one big minion to stack to stick on the board. If he executes that, he can't execute Doctor Boom or Fallery where my top deck. Two for one. Now Where shall I strike? I'm sorry. Sometimes I feel like I have a mic muted. Can't eat my TikTok on stream. What to do? So do you have second execute? Even if you do. He's like patrons now. A 
That's nice. I must safeguard for a while. Nice patrons you had there, <laughs> bro. <laughs> Dr. Boom just traded one for three. <laughs> really. You can just basically outlast him now. Just all these removals, he has no win condition. Yeah, I mean, there's so many removals, I can't even deal with six patrons. It'll be three one toughness guys. So we can Rusk one, Rusk second one, four left, Living Roots one, and then swipe. I can't even deal with six patrons. He just has no win condition. Played Frost and Berserker. God. You can clear patrons with combo now. It's not really necessary to have double wrath. For the wilds. Cycling drone shit. Battle Rage is a card, you didn't really want him to have minion, as well as so just hero power, forget about it. Okay, any tips for a player who couldn't reach any high ranks than rank 10 after playing 5 months? Um, if you rank 10, you do many, many things wrong. That's first uh, assumption. And second, you have just bad decks. You can always find a good decks in stream. You might not have enough cards. But then finding a substitution isn't so hard, I would say. Mm. Okay, so if, if it's your problem... Then just try to use it somehow. I, mean, I don't know how <laughs> you can do it. Just like buy cards or maybe play some arena. Or if you just if you have nice decks and you still can't reach high rank than ten, then probably you do many many things wrong. Rank ten players they really make many mistakes. You're watching the stream, right? So just to find a moment when you play the same deck as you do. And then try to determine what play you would have done differently and why. If you would do something else, obviously, then a streamer would do it. That's one way. Another... Another way, I mean... Just playing cards normally correct. If you play a control deck and you don't play cards, if you're holding them back, that's probably not correct. The way you trade is kind of important too. When to preserve life total and use a weapon, if you play like Paladin or Warrior, or when you can use actually a weapon to trade. D to determine what kind of deck you, you play against is uh, an important thing to do. Because really what you the way you play the game depends on what cards you anticipate your opponent to have. 
Again, you just don't simply blindly play a card. You play a card to answer to something or anticipation of something. Obviously, if it's not your only choice. I think it's important to understand what to expect from your opponent. Well, that's a couple of tips you might find useful, I guess. Yeah, all these two darkness minions, they don't do much against Paladin. You're looking for Intervate, Smite. The darkness minion just dies to a 1-1 one -one and Light's Justice. It still does some damage, but the damage not so relevant. If you don't have a board to follow up. You can just play Secret Paladin and have no skills, no... Understand the game at all and reach legend. That's another option. I'll never tell. Another night on the prowl. Divine favor now will be uh, four cards. It's quite good. Probably doesn't have it. I mean, double square deck probably means he runs uh, double divine spirit, as, divine favor as well. Have keeper to silence whatever if it's a range. So that's fine. Just need to survive till Doctor Boom. Wow, that's some knives here. Let's do it. Quite useless. Don't play on Consecration. Can't really play on Consecration. He has only two cards, whatever. Doesn't have it. Okay, it's probably not a redemption. Second Avenge, maybe. Uh, even Nubble Sack. That's fine. Another night on the prowl. I guess I can just go try to heal power next turn as well. Reporting for duty. Maybe force of nature. It is better. I go for force, I clear this. These two guys they trade is 5 5 anyway. Plus I have a 2-drop and 2 one ones afterwards. That's better. So I take 5 damage. If I top decks true silver champion and I trade like greedy, I can lose. 5 plus 8, 13, and I'll be only at 13 with my hero power next turn. Could alternatively play for Fell River and then hold on Doctor Boom and trade greedy. Hmm. Then True Silver doesn't kill me really. But I think I just not be greedy here. Who am I? None of your business. Reporting for 
duty. So five four it's my nine mine looks like. I'll be force of nature now. So I want two one damage guys to go into secret keeper and six three. Five power is competitive spirit. Don't really care about that. Up the his mysterious challenger one turn too late. Let's go hunt. Begin. I must protect the wild. I feel like keeping this to be fair. I won't go for Shredder at first. Probably just juggler plus living roots to start with. But but afterwards I can coin out Shredder at turn three. Yeah, that's pretty good. I like this play because I don't like going for Shredder first because then if freezing drop happens, it's just not great. If explosive drop happens here, it's not great either. Nah, but it's not so common, so better to play around freezing. Lowering down on leash value, plus my knife juggler's knife was useful in 66% with 66% chance. Oh, I didn't go anywhere. That's how I destroy Hunter. You can probably regain board control with Juggler Unleash if I ignore this completely. This video is brought to you by G2A.com.